So you might be in a situation where to move to iOS, your move to iOS application is just not working. Now, this can happen for a few different reasons, but the very first thing I'd recommend doing for the most part for every single person out there is to make sure that when you're doing your move to iOS option, that this specific application is not being closed out, your phone is not you know, dying, but also making sure that your Wi-Fi is still on and the iPhone, if you're moving to iOS or whatever the case is, making sure that iPhone and that account are situated properly as well. So let me start off with the first thing. For one, making sure that your phone didn't randomly die. This can be the number one reason why some situation happens like this at all. So just make sure if you're going to you know, do this move to iOS thing, it can take quite a bit of time. So just go through and make sure that your specific you know, Android phone is charged up. And that would be the first thing I would recommend doing. So just make sure that your specific Android phone does have your specific, you know, charge port, like make sure it's on wireless charging, whatever the case is, that would end up being the very first thing I would recommend doing for every single person out there who's doing a move to iOS, you know, situation. Now, on top of that, you may need to stay, make sure you're, you're still on Wi-Fi and everything like that. And you also want to make sure that your specific iPhone, if you're you know, sending your data over to another iPhone, you want to make sure there's no issues there either. And that can honestly be another reason why that's happening. Now, on top of that, there can be some things that happen outside of your control. Things like I mentioned before, if for some reason your device, let's say, you know, apple.com is, you know, having some weird issues, sometimes you know, Apple can have some issues on their servers. So if you make your way over to a website like downdetector.com or is it downrightnow.com, any website like this, even Twitter probably will tell you if Apple servers are down. If their servers are down, there's really not much you can do. You're just going to have to wait out until they end up fixing their servers. It's a very, very common issue. So if Apple is down, it'll show their Apple icon here and it'll show you that it's down. If it looks something like this, but imagine it's just says Apple at the very top, well, that probably means you're going to have to wait until they fix their servers. Now, if that still doesn't work, you may want to make sure your phone's not almost running out of storage. You may just want to see if there's an update available for that application as well. So those are pretty much the main ways to do it. You can also try uninstalling the app and reinstalling it, making sure you're not almost out of storage. So those are the main things I'd recommend doing here. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.